When we look at ancient depictions of the gods, we scrutinize every little detail. We come to conclusions of the objects that are present with the gods without really understanding what they are. All we basically do is compare these things to other objects that exist in modern times and class them as insignificant. But what if we were to tell you that one such object has been present throughout history and depicted by civilizations all around the world for thousands of years? Just wait till you hear this. Is it really impossible for us to comprehend the fact that in the ancient past, civilizations across the globe were all connected? In the very distant past, it would appear that civilizations everywhere shared a very important artifact. They went to the trouble of immortalizing the handbag of the gods in solid rock. The significance of this thing cannot be underestimated, and we're going to tell you why. For the past couple of decades, so-called experts have been getting more and more confused, but also more intrigued as to how the Anunnaki gods and the site at Gobleki Tepe and several cultures in the Americas are all shown with a handbag separated by a period of thousands of years apart. Here's a thought. Agriculture is known to have started near the Mount Ararat. This is also where the Ark of Noah was said to have come to rest. This is where the survivors of the Great Flood started a post-cataclysmic civilization that would spread out in every direction from this point and place. Could these bags represent seeds that were preserved on board the Ark in some sort of vault? Maybe they were distributed across the world as we repopulated the globe after the Great Flood. So many different cultures built up massive complex pyramid structures in the remote and distant past that were eerily similar to each other as if to follow a direction from some sort of blueprint. Could the handbag also have contained information that allowed civilizations to excel and develop and the depictions are one culture to the next handing it forward to the next line of people. Just a thought. Why is it that ancient civilizations in America, Egypt, and ancient Mesopotamia depicting their deities carrying a mysterious handbag in their hand? Is it possible that all ancient cultures in America, Egypt, Australia, and Mesopotamia were visited by the same gods? Another instance of the ancient handbag can be found in faraway New Zealand. A Mori myth tells of a hero who once ascended to the home of the gods and returned to earth carrying three baskets full of wisdom. Gobekli Tepe is one of the oldest ancient megalithic temples on our planet. There, interactive massive stone pillars arranged in a set of rings stand tall and proud telling the story when different civilizations ruled all over the planet. The massive stones were believed to have been carved some 14,000 years ago even though recent evidence points towards the fact that it is probably far older. Again, we see the strange bag present here. Nobody really has any idea what these bags are. The oldest known depictions of the bags is found in Northern Australia and is thought to be 15,000 years old. The creation myth story of this ancient art describes the Earth Mother who carried all her babies in her bags. As she traveled far and wide, she scattered her babies, which gave rise to many different cultures and tribes. Even in North America, there are petroglyphs that are roughly the same age as the Australian depictions. Again, we see the ancient handbag apparently being portrayed as carrying the seeds of life. Could the civilizations around the world all be scattered remains of the lost empire before the Great Flood? Each culture appears to be telling the same stories and all this is fitting in with the time in history of when the flood took place. So it appears that this handbag of the gods is a very real and significant piece of history and related to the survival and knowledge of the human race. An ancient civilization went to great lengths to preserve life on the earth. What do you guys think of this anyway? Comments below and thank you for watching.